Hello fellow hunters and welcome to today's video. Today you can follow me on the final step for reaching 2.6 million credits and I'll answer a question I got on my last video. So let's get started. Initially I wanted to release a new way of the hunter video a while now. But I had some medical problems and was not in the mood and condition to make serious progress or create videos for about two weeks. But now it's in the making and I expect to release it in the near future. At this point I would like to welcome all new subscribers and thank you for your support, even if there was no new content on my channel in the last weeks. So here's a quick update video for you and I'll use this opportunity to answer an interesting question I got in the comments on my last video. EH19 asked why I play Hunt Sim 2 when it's probably one of the worst hunting games at the moment and mentioned that I could play so many better alternatives. The short answer is that I don't think Hunt Sim 2 is as bad as many reviews say. The game has a terrible reputation, what I can understand in some parts. But personally I like the game and today I'll tell you why. The first positive aspect is the lack of microtransactions, which you can find in free to play hunting games. In general I avoid so called free games. In the end it's a bottomless pit and you have to pay extra for everything or spend 10 times more effort to achieve the same at no cost. In comparison you get the complete package of Hunt Sim 2 for 25 bucks during Steam sale events. It will be even cheaper if you only buy the Bear Hunter edition of the game. The only relevant and useful DLC is the Bear Hunter pack with unlimited licenses for bears. Weapon packs and the Ranger's Life DLC are optional at best, you don't really need them. The next fact I like is that Hunt Sim 2 has no leveling system. All items are available from the beginning and not locked behind an experience wall. I'm a big fan of sandbox style games and don't like it at all when I'm forced to reach levels to use basic equipment. In Hunt Sim 2 you just need credits to buy weapons and equipment for hunting the animals you want to hunt. If you don't care about small game and only want to hunt for moose, Buy a license, a caller and a large caliber rifle and go for it. The game will never tell you, no, you have to do this or that first before you can do what you want. For me, games with level requirements to keep me busy feel a bit like work. I want a relaxed experience when I play a hunting game and the freedom to do whatever I want at any time. The last big plus of Hunt Sim 2 for me is that it's not too realistic. A game should be a game, too much realism makes some games so slow that even simple stuff takes forever. If you live a busy life and don't want to invest thousands of hours into a single game, it's not helpful if a title is too time consuming. But that always depends on what you expect from a game and how much time you can invest. I would say Hunt Sim 2 is a great game for people who want a relaxed and entertaining experience at the end of the day. On the other hand, people who are looking for the most realistic challenge and want to put in a lot of effort to achieve something will not enjoy Hunt Sim 2 that much. Graphics are for sure better in other games, but overall I think it looks pretty decent and you don't need insanely expensive hardware for a good result. The game runs quite smooth on mid-range systems and is very stable. I had no game crashes or major technical problems in the whole time I've been playing. But there's also some bad stuff of course. Development was dropped about a year after release. There was only one major update to implement legendary animals and a mediocre story DLC. So content is rather limited overall and this will not change anymore. You can hunt 33 animal species on 6 maps in 3 regions. Other games have a lot more to offer, but I think the content of Hunt Sim 2 will be more than enough for many casual players and people who don't have that much time to play. It takes a while to complete all trophies in the lodge and there will always be a larger animal to upgrade a trophy. Other stuff like the lack of adjustable zoom on the scopes and the quite simple animal AI aren't that relevant in the end. The game is basically not designed for long range shooting and ultimate realism. The visual bugs that will never be fixed are more annoying. Textureless birds are pretty ugly and I don't think it's very friendly to ram a bow into your dog's head when you pet him. But here you can see that the game was made by a small team and a publisher who is not really known for perfectly polished AAA titles. In conclusion I can say that I had and still have a lot of fun with Hunt Sim 2. I understand that many reviews call it terrible, but it depends on your perspective, what you expect from a game and how much time and effort you want to invest. 
I consider myself as a casual gamer, and for my needs Hunt Sim 2 has many advantages over other hunting games which require much more effort. And now we come to the end of today's video. I'm currently working on the next episode about Way of the Hunter, which should be ready for release quite soon. Because of the unexpected break, new content is delayed by two weeks right now. So thank you for your patience, new stuff is coming, but not in the initial planned schedule. And that's it for today. For questions, feedback or if you want to share your opinion about Hansim 2, leave me a comment below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave me a like and subscribe. Thank you for your support.